Well, I've been at it for um, nearly 50 years. So I joined the Green Party in 1974 and uh, sort of joined lots of organizations in the early 1970s. So I'm still trying to work out why it is the world is so utterly stupid when it comes to understanding environmental issues and how critical they are to the future well-being of all humankind. Um, and these days, I guess there's an extra element in that I've spent quite a lot of time over the last uh, four or five years working particularly with young people. So the bit that drives me these days is trying to support the work of young people's organizations and make sure we don't leave the world in even more of a mess for them than we're currently likely to do. And these days, companies have got any number of opportunities to do what they need to do. The first is basically to see sustainability as a completely integrated thing across all of their social as well as environmental issues. Um, and that's critical. Sustainability is not the same as environment. It involves as much about social justice, economic issues, governance issues, um, as it does about environment and climate and resources and things like that. Um, the second thing they have to do is they have to get serious about their climate change strategy. We are in a climate emergency, as we know, so there's literally no time for companies to be pissing around any longer. They have to work out precisely what they can do in that regard, and they need to do it as scientifically as possible. So the whole idea of a science-based target, there's a, something called the Science-Based Target Initiative, and they need to get their heads around what that target looks like and then get it delivered. And then the most important thing of all, in some respects, is they have to work out how they're going to make this come alive for their employees, all these successful examples of corporate sustainability include really good, creative ways of getting um, companies' employees involved in whatever it is that they're doing. In fact, if you don't do that, it's very hard to persuade individuals that this is absolutely a part of their own their own sort of professional careers in whatever company it is they're working for. Well, they're certainly moving a lot further and faster than they've done before. There's no question about that. Um, we've seen a very significant uh, uptick in terms of corporate commitments around sustainability, oddly enough, particularly in the last year, um, 2020, despite the pandemic. Um, corporate sustainability has been prospering during the last couple of years. Um, but it's very mixed. You get some sectors where companies are doing a lot. So if you look, for instance, at uh, the fast-moving consumer goods sector, you can see companies doing um, enormous amounts to persuade their consumers that they really do care about this stuff. Um, if you look at some of the more carbon-intensive sectors, you can again see how, so for instance, um, the water industry or um, cement manufacture or steel production, you can see them gradually waking up, but it's taken quite a long time for them to uh, commit to the kind of targets that they now need. So it's a sector-by-sector -sector thing. But on the whole, if you think back, yeah, maybe 10 years ago, you would have had a huge amount of what was described at the time as greenwash. Um, these days, there is a lot less greenwash. You genuinely do have um, a lot of companies seriously intent on getting their act together. Um, well, I guess because of so many things that flowed from it, I, I was uh, involved in the Earth Summit in 1992, so a long time ago, for sure. Um, and I spent uh, more than three weeks out in um, Rio de Janeiro for the Earth Summit. And it was really a crucial time for me because it, it enabled me to see exactly how many people were beginning to see the world differently and were beginning to understand the nature of the challenge ahead. And that included businesses. It included a huge number of um, other sectors in society, including religious and faith leaders who were gathered in great numbers in um, in Rio. Mm -hmm. And for me, coming off the back of 20 years of campaigning with the Green Party and Friends of the Earth, it sort of opened up a different perspective on how to accelerate change in society and to do that basically by working with that, that kind of energy rather than constantly, um, well, not working against it, but constantly campaigning to stop people doing bad things. 
from that point on, it became obvious to me that it was just as important to work to enable people to do good things rather than stop doing the bad things. And that's pretty much what I've spent um, the last uh, 30 years of my life doing is, is wedded to that notion of pursuing the solutions agenda. Mm-hmm.